Hi, it's Elizabeth Merrick, and we are getting ready to tackle Jarvis and Surfer SEO integration. Are you ready to see Jarvis Surf? Check this out. This video is for the content creators out there, the people that are writing blogs, creating articles that want to start getting their information ranked on Google. Now, in terms of SEO, it's a broad field and it's deep too. You can spend a lot of time trying to learn the ins and outs and all those nuances, but I'm all about let's get results now. What do we need to know to get Surfer SEO and Jarvis not only integrated, but get them surfing beautifully together? And as always, if you find this video content interesting, if it's helpful for you to do us a favor with the channel here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video, you know what to do. That helps us with YouTube and it helps share this information with other people as well. Helps to get it out there. So if you haven't seen part one yet, you might want to check that out. We go over what SEO is, why we care about it, and why ranking is so important. But our next step, let's check out Jarvis. So here we are in the Conversion AI dashboard. Now to get the integration started, we actually need to go up in here into the account information and under account settings. And from here we scroll down and Surfer SEO is right there and we just need to activate it to turn it on. Once it's blue, it's on. Now if you don't have Surfer SEO yet, you can get it by clicking this exclusive offer. I do not know how long this will last, but it takes you right to the Surfer SEO integration with the celebration and the confetti, which is great. If you do have it already and you're trying to get your current Surfer SEO account hooked up, click on this learn more and they give really great instructions on how to navigate your account and get everything connected up. I've been through this myself. It's very clear and it works very, very well. So now that we've got this active and we're ready to go in back into the dashboard. Okay, so we're going into the long form assistant. So what kind of blog or article do we want to write? Well, keto diets are really popular. Let's, let's try that. Why are keto diets so popular? We're not going to have any keywords here and let's go ahead and see what kind of title ideas we get from Jarvis. Okay, I am liking this one. Why are keto diets so popular? Let's go ahead with that and let's have Jarvis do the intro paragraph. And let's take a look. Okay, I am liking this one here. And we're going to open the editor. And as you can see, we're in the normal editor with the focus mode, which is cool. And the power mode is right up here as well. But what's new is we've got the SEO mode right here in the center. And this is because we now have Surfer integrated with Jarvis. So first step is to go ahead and enter in the title. Keto. and we want to select NLP on. Now the reason why is that Google's constantly updating their AI, making it smarter and faster and better in every way possible. Now to keep up with that is a lot of work and that's what Surfer is doing. And NLP is the latest and greatest technology to keep up and match with the AI that Google's using. So go ahead and switch that on and go ahead and click here. Now this is gonna take just a few minutes and while it's processing, we're going to take a quick segue and take a look at some other searches that we did to show you an idea of how Surfer gives different word counts for different article types. So it takes about a minute for the search results to start coming up. So we're going to segue just a moment to demonstrate to you how the different titles can have such different effects. For the example, I've done some work earlier and you can see how to train your cat to do tricks to be competitive with what was already ranking on Google, you're looking at about 16 to 1800 words, uh, at least 23 paragraphs, seven to 15 images and whatnot. And down here are all the key terms. So as a comparison, let's look at something that has been a lot more 
prolific and a lot more competitive. Let's look at the affiliate marketing. So to be competitive in the affiliate marketing with the title you can affiliate market to, uh, you're looking at seven to 8,000 words, 180 paragraphs, 23 to 57 images, and 44 to 137 headings. So that gives you an idea of what kind of feedback Surfer has given you in order to rank and be competitive, how long your article is going to need to be. So let's head on back over to you, Surfer. And we're back. You see this green little check mark right there? That means Surfer is ready to go. So go ahead and click on that and we're gonna open up this window here. So I'm gonna drop out of the way here so we can use the full screen. On the left, we've got Surfer SEO and we've got this dial indicator and it's interactive. So as we add content to Jarvis on the right side, this dial indicator is going to move and you can monitor your score as you're actually building your document, which is really cool. So for this particular title, we're looking at a word count of about 2,600 to 3,000 words, about 51 paragraphs, 16 to 34 headings, and 6 to 12 images, which is great information from Surfer. Scrolling on down here, we've got the keywords. Now, these words are actually what Surfer has found in competitive articles and blogs that are already ranking on Google. So it's a really good idea to go ahead and use these keywords as well. Now what's especially cool is that right now these are all red and that's because none of these keywords are over in the document on the right. But as we fill this out and use some of these keywords, they're going to start turning green. And you're going to see the keyword count here for ketogenic diet. Right now there are no listings for it. That's why we're getting a zero but Surfer is recommending that we use it 17 to 35 times within the document. And once we hit that threshold, 17 to 35, this is gonna turn green. And you're gonna see that here in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and put our title in. Here's our title. And we'll put it over here. And note how this dial indicator is going to change as we put the title in. Okay, it's gone down a little bit, but let's get rid of this extra crap there. And designate this as H1 because it's the title. And we'll see, we're up at 20 now. And this is the kind of interaction that happens the whole time as you're building the document. Not only are we at 20, but we also have turned green because we've got the title here. We only need to use it once, we're in the green. Now. We're gonna look at the subheadings next. Now we can get inspired by the keywords down here, but what I always like to do is to go into our friend Google. I've already entered in the title here, why are keto diets so popular? And we like to scroll down to people also ask, and this is really a wonderful tool because Google is giving us the questions that people are already asking out there. And we're gonna let Jarvis answer these questions. So right now there's only four uh, questions being asked, but we can get more. Just go ahead over to this lower arrow, close this window up, that happens sometimes. Open up here and close it again. And we've got two more questions. Let's do it again, close it. And we've got three more questions and we can go on for quite a while and literally cherry pick the questions that we feel are most relevant for the article. But the ones on top are always gonna be the most popular that Google has seen. So for our example here, we're gonna go ahead and use just the first four questions. Copy them there. Go ahead and put them over here. And we might need to do a little bit of cleanup to get rid of the extra spacing. So note, as we've added these subheadings, some of these keywords are actually showing up here on the left. The keto diet, we now have five out of 20, and we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So Surfer is actually measuring how many times we use those keywords and giving us an active count over here. Once we hit 20, we'll be in the green. So we're also still sitting at 20 on the dial indicator, and that's just fine. That's just good information. 
But let's go ahead and make all of these guys H2 headings. And we'll see our numbers are going up a little bit. We're at 22. And for Jarvis, we're going to add those double hashtags. That lets Jarvis know we want him to answer those particular questions. So just before we go forward here, there's another really cool thing on the left with Surfer, and that is that if you highlight these and click on it, we get examples of use. Now, in this particular case for the Atkins diet, we've got five examples of how other blogs or articles are using those keywords. So if we're stuck for inspiration or Jarvis is needing a little bit of nurse meeting, this is really helpful to put together content that's meaningful. So we're just going to close that little window up there. There we go. And let's let Jarvis start doing some of his magic here. Uh, the blue composed light is on. Why is keto so popular? Let's see what he comes back with. Okay, cool. My content looks okay. So we're just going to cut that off right there. There we go. And notice your processed foods. It's here in the paragraph that Jarvis wrote, and it's showing up over here on the left, one out of one to three times, so we're in the green. Excellent. And we're now sitting at 23 on the count. Let's go ahead and have Jarvis do his magic again. We need to give him a little bit of information here to get things going. So let's take some inspiration on the left here from our keywords. Okay, um, let's see. I'll bet high fat diet might be relative to why keto diet is bad. So let's start off with a high fat diet. And you see, we're at one now. And let's go ahead and hit compose <laughs> and see what Jarvis comes up with next. Okay, we've now got balanced diet showing up here, which is great. Some people may experience unhealthy well, let's see if food cravings. And let's go ahead and hit compose. Okay, I'm liking that content. Um, let's see, consult with your physician before starting. We've got ketogenic diet here, 17 to 35 times. So that sounds like a good fit here. Hey ketogenic diet, period. And we're now up to three. So this is how we work back and forth, where we use the key terms on the left to nurture the content on the right. At this point in time, we are up at 25, so we're, we're chipping away at it, which is the way to go. Let's go ahead with this next one here. How did the keto diet become so popular? Now we've got the Atkins diet here as reference, so let's go ahead and start with that to help give Jarvis some direction. Let's see what comes up next. Okay, so we've hit Atkins diet here. Go ahead and remove that. And let's move on to the next topic here, next subheading. Why is everyone doing a keto diet? Again, taking inspiration from the left here, ketogenic diets and ketogenic diet. We want to go ahead and start adding those in here. Hit Compose. Okay, we're doing good here. Their bodies will burn more calories and make going for weight loss now. Weight loss is over here. We're only at three. We want six to ten times and make weight loss. Go ahead and hit compose. Okay, so we're looking good there. 
and we're now at a word count of 470. So we got a ways to go before we hit that 2600 threshold. And for inspiration of some headings, let's take a look at the left here. I'm seeing blood sugar control. So let's add a heading. Here we go. Mark that as H2. And let's see what we get here. Okay, I'm liking part of that, so we'll take that part out right there. And let's see if we can give some direction here. Um, by carb intake is a keyword. And you'll see it go to one. There it goes. And let's see what Jarvis comes up with. Okay, that's looking good. Go ahead and remove some of these spaces here. And let's look at another heading. Okay, let's try. We're using health benefits here. The health benefits. Let's go ahead and mark this as H2. And hit compose. Okay, Jarvis is starting a listicle here for us, so let's go ahead and see where he goes with this. Uh, weight loss is the first one, heart disease. And you see we're already up to 33, we just moved up there. Let's go ahead and hit compose. And we just jumped up to 36. And you'll see as we progress through this, we are getting more and more into the green. Let's try another keyword here for inspiration, skin and hair health. And let's see what Jarvis comes up with. And we're up to 38. Okay, so you're getting the idea of how we're working back and forth. We're using the keywords on the left into Jarvis on the right and basically letting Jarvis help answer the questions and whatnot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because you get the gist of it. So how high into the green do you want to go? You, you think you want to hit that 100%, but actually, no, you don't. There's a couple of reasons why. One of them is with the surfer integration with Jarvis, is that you can't put the images into Jarvis, so you're never going to get that image boost unless you go direct into the Surfer SEO dashboard and put the pictures in there. There you can find out how much of a boost you're going to get from your pictures. The other thing, which is actually extremely important, and that is the readability. If you're hitting 96, 100%, then the content becomes so keyword heavy that it's not as much fun to read from the human standpoint. So what we do is we're searching for that 60 to 70 percent as the sweet spot. When you just start to hit the green, you're pretty much good to go. And in that way, it's a balance between the AI picking it up and the readability from the user. So I hope you find this helpful. If you want to drop some comments, I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to get your feedback. And check back for some next video where we're actually going to go into more of the tone of voice because that has such a huge impact on the different types of output. It is just amazing. We'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.